Hello, my name is Mark Preco, President and Founder of Adam Software. I'd like to demonstrate today how you can easily convert your tax office to a paperless process using Adam Software. The first step, when the client walks through your door or they mail in their, their tax return source documents, is to check them in. So with Adam, we have a check-in, self-check-in screen. The client would walk in, come to the counter, They'll enter their social security number. It'll welcome them back. In this case, welcome back Michelle Bishop. You have a scheduled appointment with Mark Preco at 3 o'clock. Please have a seat and Mark will be with you momentarily. Thank you. It then will go back to the check-in screen for the next client to walk in. This will allow you to free up some time for your receptionist. Then we have a lobby screen. So as you see here in the lobby, we have three in the lobby. Here's Michelle that we just checked in. Appointment with Mark at 3 o'clock. So we no longer have a sign-in sheet. So we did away with that paper. From here, I can see the appointment with Mark at 3 o'clock, $175. She still has an outstanding balance. So I'd probably want to check on that before I take her back. And I also have an appointment note that I get to read. Also need to do daughter's return. And I also could click on this icon here, and I'd be able to see a photo ID that we scanned in so just in case you forget who Michelle is you could always look at the photo and that would bring a memory back to you so you'd be able to walk out and greet her appropriate appropriately so from here I'm gonna walk out of my room it'll automatically notify me that Michelle is here I'll greet Michelle take her back I'll select the edit icon here and then move it from lobby to tax prep it's already got my name here as a preparer. I save it. So now I only have two in the lobby. I moved her out. She's now in my tax prep. And the receptionist did not have to go grab a file folder. So that whole process, we actually took the receptionist completely out of it. Now I walk back with Michelle to my desk. And on my desk, I'll have two monitors. I'll click on the tax prep screen. Here's Michelle. And again, I see she has a balance due. I probably want to investigate that. Um, if I click on her name here, I go into her file. If I scroll down here, I can actually see she has a balance due of $175 in 2011. Looks like she hasn't picked up a return yet, so I can deal with that later. So let's go back to uh, her 2012. So here I'm in tax preparation. And I'm going to do the tax return just like I normally would. She's going to hand me her source documents. I'm going to key them into our tax software. It doesn't matter what tax software you use. Um, Adam will work with all your tax preparation software. So I'll do that. I'll finish the return. When I'm ready to store her documents, I'll click on her name. And then I'm going to scan her W-2s, her 1099s, her K-1s. I'll go ahead and we use a Fujitsu ScanSnap scanner. Uh, any scanner will work. We just found that the uh, ScanSnap works very well, very efficient scanner. So I'll scan that in. It goes into a folder that I've designated for this workstation. I'm in her file here for 2012. I then click on Account Documents. I then Browse. And I, fold, I, I saved it into a folder called Mark's Desk. I'm going to locate it. It was date stamped, date and time. I grab it. I label that Reviewer Documents. I save that. Now I've just uploaded those W-2s into Adam. I can retrieve them from any anywhere as long as I have internet connection. Even pull them up on my phone. And then I'm going to print the 8879 for them to sign. She's going to sign that. I'll scan that in. Again, it's going to go into that folder I've designated Mark's desk. I browse, date modified, I grab it, I label it signature documents. And then I'm going to PDF the tax return in our tax software. Again, send it to the exact same folder. Browse, grab it. Then here it is, tax return. And I can also, I can put this out on a client portal for them. If I click this, file access, I save it. Now the client can actually access that in Adam on the client portal. Um, so if you're able to convince them not to accept a paper tax return and rather get it online, now you can save some money there by not having a paper return to give them. So now I've, I've put the source documents, her signature documents, the tax return, it's all in Adam. I'm going to hand 
all those documents back to them. If they want a paper copy, I'll put them in their folder. I then click back to file. And I'm going to see if my tax offer, say the fee is $150. I'm then going to come down here and log the fee in. Tax prep, 150. I save it. And as you see, here's the, the prior balance of 175, the current balance 150 for a total of 325. Everything looks good. Michelle's happy. I then go to escort her out to the cashier. And if you have a smaller office, you may collect the fee yourself. But I'm just going to demonstrate that if you have a larger office, you might have one person, that, the receptionist, who also is the cashier. We'll move it from tax prep to cashier. I'm going to save it. I'll now escort Michelle out to the front desk. And the receptionist will then click on the, the office event cashier. Here's Michelle. Shows she has a balance of $325. The receptionist, the cashier, will then click on Michelle's name. Scroll down. You can see here's the balance due 150 current year, 175. Let's just say Michelle's just going to take care of her current year in this case. So she's going to pay me with a check. So I'm going to open up my transaction type. I'm going to select check. I can log in the, the check number right here. It automatically pre fills the amount in. 150. Now her balance due is 175. I'll remind her that she needs to pick up her return. In fact, I can even click down here in 2011. And I can read the note that was entered. Looks like she just needs to sign and pay, and we left a message. Well, maybe she doesn't have the extra money today, so she'll come back at a, at a later time. All right, so now the receptionist, we could print a receipt right here. This could either be a receipt or it could be an invoice. In this case, she has a zero balance due for 2012, so this could be a receipt for her. I could print that out and hand it to her if she'd like. I'm now going to move this from cashier to reviewer, save it, and now with Michelle, the receptionist is going to say, you know, thanks for coming in again. We'll see you next year. She'll leave with her tax return in her hand, all of her source documents, her signature documents, and we have no file folder. So we move it to the next stage. The preparer now is going to go back to the lobby screen, and they're going to go ahead and grab another client and then and walk them back and go through the same process again. So from here, when we go to review a return, I would select Michelle's file. I'm then going to move it to what we call in review. So we make sure that no one else is reviewing the return at the same time. I'm then going to pull up the source documents, reviewer documents as we call them. Open it. Here's a W-2. I'm going to pull up my tax software on another screen, and I'm going to verify everything was entered in correctly. I'll then close it. I can verify that the signature document is there, and I'm going to go back to my file. If I have any notes I'd like to send to the preparer, I could go ahead and click on here and do this. I could key the note in here, and I could assign it to them right here. In this case, we'll say that there was nothing wrong. We want to move it to the next stage. So in review, I'm going to move it to EF Ready, and I'm going to save it. Now, when I'm ready to transmit my returns, whoever's doing the transmitting, they can see um, you can put as many in there as you'd like. If you transmit a couple times during the day, when you're ready to transmit, you click on EF Ready. There's the return. I'm going to check the box here, and I'm going to go over to my tax software on another screen and check the box and transmit it just like you normally would. I then hit Send, hit OK. This and Adam moves to the next stage, which is awaiting IRS acknowledgments. And it'll sit there until my acknowledgments come in. Now, if you're using um, either Drake Software or Crosslink or TaxWise, the, the EF acknowledgments will automatically flow into Adam. All right, as, in, as I demonstrate right down here with Brian Hurley here, we have an A acknowledgment. That return has been accepted. So from there, I can just check this box, and the refund method, they have no refund due. So once it's accepted, I have nothing more to do. It's going to automatically change the status from awaiting IRS acknowledgments to complete just by me hitting send. And now I'm done. I have nothing more to do. In this case, if you're using a tax software other than Drake, Crosslink, or TaxWise, what you'd want to do is you retrieve your acknowledgments in your tax software, just like you've always done, and then you're going to then 
check the box, move it, and then you then would automatically move it to complete. And then you just hit go. You say, are you sure? I hit OK. Now I have no more returns and awaiting IRS acknowledgments. I've gone through the process. The client checked in. We did the return. We attached all the source documents. Return's been e-filed, accepted. Everything's done. If the client ever calls in, I can just do a search, locate their file, and everything is attached. All the fees and payments, I have everything in one place. Um, if, say, this client, we were not able to finish the return, say they needed a W-2 or they needed a Social Security number still, I'll go, I'll pull up Michelle's file here. As you see, it's complete for 2012. I view it. But let's just say she wasn't able to complete her return. So she needed to move it. So we have, a, we have an event called Pending Client. So it means that the, the client, we're waiting on information from the client. I would just click the Edit Pencil here. To enter my note. I stamp date it. Waiting on son's Social Security number. And then I save it. And now, go back to my home page. We have an event called Pending Client. So in this case, we have three in pending. And there it is right there, Michelle, waiting on son's Social Security number. Say Michelle calls in a month later, says, where's my refund? The receptionist would look up her file, pulled up here, and we'd see, oh, right away, it's in Pending Client. We can just click on the status right here. It'll go right into her file. And I'd remind Michelle, oh, Michelle, do you remember we were still waiting on a Social Security number before it could file your return? And she'd say, oh, that's, that's correct. I forgot about that. So from here, I could go ahead and if she gives me the social, I could add it in here. I could assign it to a specific preparer. So say she calls it back in. Um, son, Social Security number. Seven, eight, nine, and then I assign it to a preparer. I'll assign it, assign it to myself. I save it. My home page here. Here's my assigned tasks. I have 15 assigned tasks. There it is, right at the top. Sun Social. I view it, and I'll shoot right back into their file. And I have all the information I need, not just the social. I can see everything else that's gone on with this client's tax return, and then all prior years also. Very easy to go into any, any year to see what, what has happened. So in case the client were to get an IRS letter for, say, 2010, I can go back into 2010 and see exactly what took place. If I ever want to see everyone who's touched this return, I can just click on this events title bar. And this will show me everything from the time she walked in, when she walked in, how long was she in my lobby, how long was she in tax prep, who worked on the return, cashier, reviewer, Every single note related to this all in one place. Very easy to see the whole picture of the client's tax return file. Go back to my home page. And we have other events. We have pending client, my to-do list, extension filed, rejects, return pickup, you know, office tasks. And this is regarding our, we have uh, system messages you can send. So basically we created a, a nice workflow for the tax office, we also have one. You can create one for the, your accounting office, too, for bookkeeping. So the whole purpose is to convert your office to a paperless process. So I hope from this short demonstration you're able to see how easy it is um, to convert your office to paperless. And just imagine, if you are paperless, no more client folders that are lost. That's, that's the best thing about paperless um, that, we've, that we've encountered. It's, uh, um, you don't lose anything anymore. So I thank you for your time. If you have any questions or if you'd like a live demonstration of Adam Software, please contact our office. Thank you.